Hey guys, see do eat review here with Lawson from Lawson Daily Fitness. Is yeah, right? Daily Fitness and Performance. Now, guys, if I'm doing Healthy Options Week and people want to know about nutrition, there's no point in me reading on the internet and asking and answering questions. Get one of the professionals who knows all about nutrition. Lawson, yes. welcome. Thank you. Not going to be too difficult, guys. It's just going to be the basic everyday questions. If you've seen Lawson, Lawson, what did you do with me before? We've talked uh, we premium choice, the healthy nuts. Oh, yeah, nuts. the nuts. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the beer. We've done the beer. The, yeah. the, it was a zero, but it wasn't zero. It was zero. It no, wasn't zero. it wasn't zero. It was like point zero one or 0.02. Yeah, percent. and we did the raw energy drinks as well, which I don't know what happened with that. Uh, <laughs> that I was, actually really liked those. That was good, yeah. weren't they? And I don't know what happened. They've just disappeared off the shelves. Yeah, okay. Basic nutrition questions. Mm. Now you, if you follow it, at Lawson Daly on Instagram? Yeah. That's it. So I've been following Lawson, and every now and again, the, some words of wisdom just catch my attention. Yeah. One of them being, a couple of weeks ago, you were talking about intermittent fasting. Yeah. Oh, fun one. Yeah, okay. And then you said, well, intermittent fasting is all well and good, mm. but that time when you eat, you can stuff three pizzas in your gob. Oh, absolutely. And destroy it. And that caught my attention. I went, oh, yeah, it's, it's not a myth. It's just the way you go about doing yeah, it, isn't it? It's, it's one, like intermittent fasting broken down really quickly is when you basically just eat for eight hour window. So you mm -hmm. might only eat from like 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. you stop. It's just controlling the hours that you eat. Mm -hmm. The gist behind it is like if you have less time to eat, yep. you will eat less amount of food mm -hmm. and then ideally less amount of calories quite easily but i could eat i could eat a multiple whoppers mm -hmm. in that eight hour window and that would basically ruin the whole Anything. concept and that's um, what, yeah. yeah and that's with healthy options week i don't want to get into dieting mm. i don't want to get into weight loss quick fads we all know that a pizza mm. Is not a healthy option, but it's always good now and again. You don't want to deprive yourself. Yeah. So that's what I want to sort of get into you yeah. about is there are different weight loss fads and stuff, but here we go. Portion control is very important. Yeah, I guess. portion control. I guess the like amount you eat of each option is very important. Mm -hmm. um, like pizza is a really interesting one. Yep. Um, you have a fascinating example about the pizza and Nutella about the fats and the sugars, is it? Yeah, so a lot of things are that are very delicious, mm -hmm. are very high in carbohydrates at the same time as fat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what makes it very palatable, like yep. tasty. A lot of the time, carbohydrates by themselves aren't super nice to eat by themselves. Mm -hmm. So like raw honey, white bread with nothing on top, they're not like just pasta. Yep. You add a fat in there and it's, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. But I guess like with portions and things like that, that's where people can go wrong with what a healthy option is mm -hmm. and how much of it is a right amount. So yep. like peanut butter for a lot of people would be considered a better or healthier option than say chocolate butter. Yep. Unless you're having like a tablespoon gulp of peanut yeah. butter, it gets, it's great, it's not great. Yeah. Um, similarly, like as an example might just be avocado. Avocado is a really good healthy fat. Yes. But very easy to overeat. And that's where it can kind of go to a point where it's now maybe detrimental. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. This is the, the healthier options that I yeah. look at. Like fruit juice, there's, there's lots of sugar yes. in it. And there's a little bit. I was talking to someone about boost juice, however, they've got the market. Mm. But it's really a, a bit of a myth, isn't it? About how healthy it is. It's yeah, like, dude, like, that's lots of sugar so in it. So large boost juice. I get the Mango Magic. Always yep. never change your boost juice. <laughs> Order, it's always, you always just go with what you know. <laughs> yes. But um, yeah, like a large... Mango Magic Boost Juice, I think it's about 550 calories, and to put mm -hmm. that in perspective, that's more than two 600 mil diet cokes. Uh, 600 mil normal sugar yep. cokes. Wow. So you can see how very quickly, like I know it's got fruit in it and yep. stuff like that, but the amount of calories yes. for, in some contexts can be then detrimental. Yes. Mm. So that's where you have to work for, I'm not going to work for rewards, mm. work for your, like I work for my beers. Like yeah, I know yes. I'm going to. Go to the gym five days a week, mm -hmm. and it's more about, I'm jumping around, routine as well. Mm -hmm. I don't think the gym is, oh, I've got to go to the gym. Gym is part of my day now. Yeah. So it's making it part of my day. Yeah. And people look at me and go, oh, how come you're not huge? All you do is eat. No, but I go to the gym five days a week, mm -hmm. so I don't feel guilty about eating. You offset it a little bit. And yep. it's like, energy needs is probably our foundation and underlying. Like, everyone has different energy needs, mm -hmm. depending on your job, depending on if you go to the gym, yep. depending on a lot of things. But... Matching your energy needs is, is really important. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for example, if, if someone's just played in a footy game, yep. the can of Coke, or a can of Coke and a 
half pizza might be really good because yep. they need that to energize themselves. Yep. If you're not going to the gym, drive to work, sit down all day, then your energy needs uh, won't yeah. be as high. And that's, I guess that's a really good place for a lot of people to yep. start is figuring out that. And then if you do want to have a bit more, like yep. you said, maybe you have to do a bit more walking. Maybe you, you walk as far as you can in the city to yep. work instead of driving all the way to the car park or you train because you want to earn your beers. Like yep. I definitely do the same sometimes. Yep. If I know I'm getting, you know, doing a bit more eating, yep. I might do a bit more output. Maybe just walk about half an hour extra day. Now, I'm, not, I'm not stalking you, but I remember yeah. seeing online yeah. where you just finished a hard workout mm-hmm. with your lovely partner, Jess, yes. and you went to the pub and had a schnitzel and a oh, beer. Oh yeah, it was delicious. There's n- see, he, there's no guilty about it. Yeah. You know you work for it and you don't want to deprive yourself every time as well, do you? Because if you start depriving yourself, then you start picking out when you get it as well. Yeah, it. it's, it's a lot of the time, like people will deprive themselves and not have a good relationship with food. Mm-hmm. Like, a, a, and this is where I kind of come from, is like a pizza and a beer is not a bad option. Mm-hmm. I needed those foods because yep. we just trained. Yep. Um, you know, food is more than just fuel, it's enjoyment, it's socializing. Yeah, exactly. It's potentially some people's way of showing love. Yep. So you've got to kind of look at it as a, in a bit more context and with different views yep. and you will find that nutrition becomes less scary mm-hmm. and more of something that you can just talk through a little bit mm-hmm. and then yeah, be okay with it. I see a lot of bodybuilders going to the donut store afterwards. <laughs> yeah. You see online, I'm talking to you people, on Instagram, you see them buying the donuts but you don't see them doing the workout oh, for an hour and, and a half and that's the thing that, that throws people off I think a little as well. And they probably haven't had donuts for a month. Yeah. Do you know, like, yeah. it's also like, you see that happen and you'll be like, that must be normal and regular. Yeah. And potentially it isn't. Most of the other time they might be having like steak, potatoes, yeah. some good vegetables, yeah. some rice. Yeah. And if you kind of keep things quite simple with your diet, some protein, some carbs, mm-hmm. veggies, fruits. Yep. Yeah. It allows room for those extras. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and that's like me, when you see me posting about going out eating, hmm. You don't see me at home making a banana and oat and yeah. berry smoothie like at home. 100%. I'm not going to show that every day that I'm having a smoothie, but once again, it's it's Instagram showing the best of people's lives. Yeah, or like the most the highlights yeah, yeah, yeah. Without, with their food. Yeah, without the work that's behind it. And that's why Which I try definitely. to post it. I'm at the gym every morning to show people. Hang on, I'm at the gym. Mm. So when you do see it, uh, it is something else. Can I crack some myths with you? First? All right, All right. Done. shoot. Gluten free. It's often gluten free. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not really a, a healthy option though, is it? It's a it's a, a word that people need, but it doesn't mean you're eating healthy, does gluten it? Gluten free, yeah, like gluten free does not inherently mean like if you have a gluten intolerance, yep. then yeah, gluten free is a good option. I, I, think, I can't remember the numbers, so don't quote me on yep. this. The numbers of like people with proper gluten intolerance is about like 3% of the population. Okay. Properly tested, confirmed. Yeah. I think the claimed number is like 15% of the population claim gluten intolerance. Yes. So it's a bit of a, like a myth. So the people might eat gluten and have some discomfort, or, but it might be for multiple reasons. Yeah. So this is where the gluten-free market's jumped in and kind of taken over. But it, it doesn't mean healthy. It could be really high in calories. It could be low in nutrients. Yeah. That just the lack of gluten doesn't, yeah, imply health. Is that like vegan as well? I could be vegan, but I could still be eating a lot of crap as well. Oh, yeah, I mean, 100%. I think yep. like that's a method of doing something, but like, yep. you could always, you know, my sister's vegan, she's an amazing cook, all the food yep. she eats so well, but sometimes we'll go out to restaurants and if they don't have a good vegan menu, a lot of the time the option is hot chips. Okay. And you know, if you're a vegan and you're like, hey, it's so healthy, and she doesn't eat like this all the time, yep. but like that might be an option that you have to have just yep. because you are vegan. Mm-hmm. Um, so it doesn't always imply, and there's lots of other factors that come into it, but they're, they're very much on the ball. And that's where, that's what I was talking to Lawson about, if people go back to my 45 second pantry room about the green juice that I bought, yeah, that was that's apple, funny banana, one. orange, mm. None of those vegetables are green, and why is it green juice? Because in my mind, when I'm at the shops, I go, green means healthy, right. marketing, marketing at its best, isn't it? And a bit of colouring in there, make it green, it looks good. Great so idea. then I'm looking, great idea. It, it, that's what I mean. Beautiful. I can't bag it, that's yeah, marketing at its <laughs> finest, isn't it? Yeah, so 100%. That's what I look at and go, okay, there's a few, not buzzwords, mm. as I said, gluten free now yeah, is vegan, mm. all that doesn't that, mean you're that eating sugar, healthy. Sugar free is a big one, that sugar free is probably and this is just the quickest way to explain the sugar free okay, one, no, the big one, is they supplement sugar with increased fat. Okay, I remember you talking about And yes. that's like, so if it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. It's, it's, it, yeah, it makes no difference. Um, they take the sugar out and to get back flavor, they'll often add 
really high doses. So if you're looking at the information chart, mm. what should you be looking at? When it says sugar free, what will you be looking at that's higher then? The, you would see the fat that's much higher, okay. potentially compared to like a normal option. Yep. And what you generally see is calories will be very high. Yes. Um, it's raw, like sugar free slices that yeah. you see. Yeah. Often made of like lots of nuts and spreads and things yeah. like that. Um, sit in the same. So, sugar same free way. is one of those yeah. buzzwords as well. Very see, this is all fascinating. This is what mm. I didn't know myself. Yeah. Well, we're going to get on to plant based. Yep. We are Greenback, helping me out here, guys. Thank you very much. We are Greenback. Plant based protein bars. Oh, I didn't know that plant based. Vegan, gluten free, preservative free, dairy free. Okay. Find them at all your local supermarkets and stuff. But they're helping us out. But we're going to give our honest opinion on these things as well. So I'm going to open. Can I go? Go for it. I'm not open the hazelnut one. 22 grams of protein. Is that good for a normal bar? This is a bit strategic as okay. well. So we, what does it say? It says 22 what, grams of protein. What does it? It doesn't say where though. No, it says 22% for it. Ah, oh, yeah. It's already caught me. So, yeah, Genius. it's very strategic. So, yep. and go for it. This is one of the things that, like, for most people, like, obviously, this is a lot of what I've studied and it's my yep. literal job. Uh, it's very strategic. And you see how small that percent sign is? Yes. Like, yeah, yep. very, very good. Yep. So, it's 22% protein, which I'm not sure. What they've gone off of is 22% of the car the calories is mm -hmm. from protein. Yep. So, but they've made it a little bit like hard to read. Yep. Fair enough. Because most other protein bars, they will have 20, how much grams there. Yeah, okay. So, but so what it is, is basically 11 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 220 calories, which is a normal protein bar. Yep. 11 grams of protein is not bad. Yep. Um, some protein bars in this in this like size range will be about 20. 50 gram bar bars. Yeah, so mm -hmm. some will be about 20, but mm -hmm. for like a lot of vegan options, they are lower and yep. plant based like plant based yep. options. So to be perfectly honest, yep, not bad. Um, yep. Higher in fat, very similar, like very, much higher in fat, just with mm -hmm. the way they've had to make it. Yep. Um, Preservative free is good. Always yeah, good. Yeah. Gluten free, vegan. Yeah. And Preservative free is an interesting one, but that's yeah. very very deep. Really? Deep hole, yes. Okay, so the dark chocolate. Oh, dark, dark cho chocolate. Dark chocolate's always been given the it's healthier than milk chocolate. Again, look. another one. Du highest calorie energy chocolate yep. is actually dark chocolate. Lowest is milk. So would you have this before or after a gym worker? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and try it. No, eat away. Mm. Happy to talk with you. Mm. Yeah, okay, that, that ticks all the boxes. Oh, yeah. um, oh. Probably... After, yep. Wait, maybe 15, 20 minutes after your workout. Yep. Um, personally, I don't feel really hungry straight after, so I wait a bit anyway. Yeah, I usually wait an hour after. Before yeah, after this would probably be like a really handy snack for me, like you know, about three o'clock mm -hmm. or about eleven o'clock or three o'clock. Yep. Um, it's got enough calories to be better yeah. than a normal chocolate bar for you. Yeah. Yeah, I would just take it over for the protein. Yep. Um. What I'm actually going to say, taste is really good. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. So a lot of these protein bars, yeah. I find the aftertaste is really off-putting. Very gritty. Yeah. And, and these are like, oh, this is fantastic. Very gritty or very chewy sometimes. Yep. Uh, they're delicious. They are I wasn't. I don't know. And here's one as well. Mm. My kids go, can I have one of these, Dad? Mm. And I went, no. I went, oh, no, of course you can. Mm. Because what's wrong with kids eating a, a healthier chocolate bar than a chocolate so bar? So this is about the same calories as a mm. normal chocolate bar? Yep. The added pro, the extra protein is the thing that's like the most. Mm. That's a good one. Mm. Oh, no, I've had that one. Try oh, the yeah. peanut butter. All right. I love the hazelnut. Hazelnut, I can That's lovely. Those. Yeah. That's unreal. Yeah. Um, um, Choc mint flavours, uh, salted caramel, and the peanut butter one, which I'm having, which I'll... It is so good, guys. And as I mean, a healthier option I'm mm. getting to, I'm not getting to cutting anything out of your life, mm. just a healthier option. Mm. That's why I like these things. They, I've reviewed them a few times over the years. I just love the taste. There's no bad aftertaste. It doesn't have I'm that very, funny I'm actually very surprised. Yeah? Yeah, well, like pleasantly, very yeah, pleasantly. Yeah. yeah, the added protein, and this is like the importance of protein in your diet. Yeah. But in all honesty, mm -hmm. that's top tier. Yeah. It's I'm, very good, dude. I didn't expect that. But yeah, just my as wife, good as a chocolate bar. My wife is dead against these. You know, really? She's had some and she goes, oh my God, 
Oh, that actually tastes like a really good bar. Yeah. Some of the other ones are not great. No, because they, they taste, as you said, greedy. It's greedy. They have a funny aftertaste. This mm. is like, oh, cool, this feels really naughty. It's a little bit naughty, but it's yeah. very nice. Mm. Though. Very, very nice. So there you go. You've had your taste of greenback. Yeah, they're good. Here I'll actually, go. I'll put that. They'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll be an option for me for sure. So they do protein powders, they do biscuits. You can find them all at the supermarkets, guys. Thank you very much, Greenback, for your support. Mm. Lawson, thank you very much for your time, man. Thanks for having me. I always mate. come to talk for five minutes, and we got everything to talk about. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Thank you very much.